the music of uh, Jean Sibelius, it's very, very close to all of us Finnish people. So there are, I think, several reasons uh, about that, but I think uh, Sibelius was really a master to portray the Finnish nature. And the nature is something very, very special for us Finns. If you think that uh, we are a country of only five and a half million people, but we have around 200,000 lakes, or nearly 80% of the country is forest. So we have more trees than people uh, in our country. And so obviously the nature is something uh, very important to all Finns and Sibelius had a very unique skill of portraying in his music the landscapes and not only the beauty of the nature but the contrasts and uh, you know sometimes quite uh, rough climate and then where it when it changes to the beauty of the nature that you can really hear in the music. Finlandia was a piece that he wrote um, during the time when uh, there was a lot of um, wish from the Finnish people to become independent. We were not an independent country when Finlandia was composed, but that was something that also in the music united people. Besides Sibelius being able to portray the Finnish character, he was also a composer that through his music, he also somehow defined what is the national character of us Finns. And that's of course something really amazing. That's why I think the music is uh, something very special, especially to us Finns, but uh, of course I hope to everybody. This uh, project obviously finishes with the seventh symphony, the last uh, symphony of Sibelius. It's a very unique symphony because it's uh, around 20 minutes of music in one movement. For a symphony it is quite unique in terms of form. I think it has all the ingredients for a symphony. It has a very beautiful and uh, interesting dramatic form and how it goes from one section to another and to all the transitions until we will finish in the C major and that's like we are at home that's it I know that uh, there is a lot of uh, debate about uh, the eighth symphony of Sibelius and uh, some people are you know, very sorry that uh, he never finished that I think he started thinking about it I have to say that, you know, after the Seventh Symphony, you don't have to write anything more after that. I mean, if you have been able to make that, I'm very happy that, that he could also enjoy some peace and quiet in his last years of his life. It's just perfect ending, just for the last moment we reach the C major. That is really for me like, it's done, we are back at home. Entrez au cœur du concert.